why does spiritual development matter? So I had this realization um, earlier this spring and a teacher of mine helped to uh, kind of um, help me see <laughs> that spiritual development is different from personal development and kind of making a distinction between those two bodies of work. And in many ways, my work has been so integrated of those, those two uh, uh, paths that we can choose to take um, that uh, I just thought that was normal. And so what I've been realizing is that uh, personal development, which we could call kind of, you know, like the healing journey, or, you know, like um, leadership, right? Like stepping in maybe to like conscious leadership, those sorts of things. That is like so dear to me and so, so important um, for all of us to kind of be able to, to have tools to like shake off <laughs> the old stuff, uh, to shed what no longer serves us, to heal the traumas that are stored in our soma, in our bodies. And yet that it doesn't need to become like the only thing that there is. So sometimes like if, um, uh, you know, someone is like starting their healing journey and then they like are continuing and then they're continuing and then they're continuing and like where, where does it sort of like reach a point where something like new can start to come in through that, right? Instead of like getting stuck in feeling like we need to always be healing or always be shedding or always be excavating, always be purging, right? Like what else is there? <laughs> and um, maybe we're actually okay, right? Like in this moment, what if you were perfect? What if you were fine? What if there was nothing to change? What if there was like, like just you and your heart and your higher power and, you know, like trusting that journey that your soul is on. And so with all of this, you know, kind of coming in, uh, it became really clear that in addition to supporting people with their healing work, and yes, yeah, sometimes we want to shed something. Sometimes we, we need to, you know, kind of like let something move through our nervous systems and, and like find that healing movement in our body. Sometimes we need the shadow work or, you know, the ancestral healing, right? And, and there is this journey that we are invited on if we choose to spiritual development as well. And to uh, like embodying the spiritual gifts that every one of us in mankind has access to if we want. And I've been so inspired to see over and over again those who I've worked with directly or stories I've heard of spiritual awakening being a choice, right? Somebody to kind of like declaring like, I'd like to have a spiritual awakening. And then what begins to come through in that space is magnificent because we're, we're so much more than what the programs are that make us small. And whatever the, the wounds, whatever the storylines that create a, a, a condensing of the self is like, when we can expand and like really allow ourselves to feel our essence and fully be in our power, wow, there's like pure beauty waiting for us all living in that space of like, it's all a miracle. <laughs> like this is amazing and we get to be here. Yeah, it's a crazy world and there's a lot that is um, wild about this moment, but we get to be here and we get to be alive for this. And we get to have these beautiful, magnificent physical bodies to like, like root in our own spiritual sovereignty as we choose the journey of awakening. 
And so I, I just bless each and every one of us and that, that's choosing this. And of course, those who aren't consciously choosing as well, all the blessings there. And know that when you choose, like, yeah, I want to explore in this direction. I want to I wanna feel closer to the divine. I want to feel closer to my own holiness. I want to, like, know the sacredness of every moment, whether it's, you know, quote unquote, good moment or challenging moment, right? And like really sink into like, this is sacred, whatever is happening right now. And when we're there, when we live from that place, it creates a pathway for others to find their way home. And that's the real gift in it from my perspective is that like we're not alone in this. The choice that you make on how to live today, it ripples out vibrationally in the field of consciousness, in the ether. That information travels. And so, you know, if there are, are others around you that are in fear, that are in loneliness, that are in, you know, depression, like, like you choosing your own heart, your own worthiness. Oof, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for showing up here.